So hi, Brad. What do you think of kidney-related outcomes? Which is the most important one in clinics? So for me, the most important outcome is preserving kidney function. So some measure of GFR, right? Creatinine, EGFR, real GFR measurement. We get wound up in proteinuria sort of as a surrogate, but as you well know, um, that is a, 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 a marker that's fraught with difficulty in interpretation. <clears throat> the proper interpretation of proteinuria at least currently requires histology to understand where the proteinuria is coming from. So bottom line, all treatments, we should be working toward preserving kidney function for the patient for the future. But that takes a lot, a lot of time. So what about aiming for a short-term outcome? What, what's a good one to go for? Histology, EGFR slope, remission as we do now? Yeah, so <clears throat> I think that if we, if we can define remission precisely, and as you and I both know, we have several different definitions of remission for all the different trials and, and what we use clinically. But if we really have a, a sustained, complete remission, then I think that is a good long-term predictor of how the kidney is going to do over time and how the patient will do over time. Now, the trick is defining that, of course. Yeah, and maybe we can move our trials to see how the EGFR slope goes over right. one or two years. So I, I do like EGFR slope, and certainly we are using this now in other types of diseases, certainly FSGS and IgA nephropathy. Um, what's interesting uh, about lupus is we haven't really taken that on. And, and um, what I, the, the caution or caveat is, how do you measure slope? Okay, this is really a, a difficult issue. Um, and there's a lot of input from our biostatistical colleagues because do you measure total slope if the drug affects the slope or the GFR acutely? Do you measure just chronic slope, or how do you account for the acute changes? Um, but I do think we are figuring this out, and uh, I do think uh, we've done secondary analyses now on uh, GFR slope in at least a two, a phase two and a phase three clinical trial, and they've been quite useful uh, in informing what the drug possibilities can do.